At 1.35 on June 18th, under the hush of pre-dawn skies, the world witnessed a turning point. Those opening words alone set the stage. Iran's IRGC launched the first operational salvo of its groundbreaking Fatah hypersonic missile during the 11th phase of Operation True Promise III, a move which military analysts are already calling a watershed in modern missile warfare. From the outset, the strategic intent was clear. Add a game-changing capability to Tehran's arsenal that not only strikes deep into adversarial territory, but does so by defying traditional air defense paradigms. The Fatah, a two-stage solid-fuel rocket capable of traversing 1,400 kilometers at Mach 13 to 15, employs maneuverable nozzles for terminal phase agility, features that reliably stress the limits of interception systems. Phase 11 was not just another volley, it was the crescendo. Analysts report multiple Fatah missiles successfully perforated all three tiers of Israeli missile defense, leaving shelters in Tel Aviv and Haifa trembling under the force. According to IRGC officials, the barrage marked the beginning of the end of Israel's previously formidable defenses, a bold claim that follows visible footage of glowing contrails piercing the night sky. The operational elegance of Fatah lies in its maneuvering glide phase, a technological leap that ensures unpredictability in trajectory and resistance to radar and interceptor lock-on. Drilled through rigorous testing, Iranian sources emphasize that pre-launch trials experienced no issues and highlight that only four countries, Russia, China, India, and now Iran, possess such delivered hypersonic capability. Within the broader campaign, Operation True Promise 3 has seen a sustained escalation since June 13th, featuring dozens of missile waves targeting critical Israeli military, energy, and infrastructure nodes. The June 16th phase struck Haifa's power plant and oil refinery, plunging wide swaths into blackout and validating Fatah's precision in tandem with conventional missiles like Ghadr and Imad. From a technical standpoint, Fatah's two-stage, all-solid propulsion allows a rapid ascent and high-altitude cruise, followed by agile terminal maneuvers, properties that collectively compress reaction time for defense systems. Its reported CEP circular error probable remains classified, but IRGC claims of direct hits suggest levels of precision seen only with advanced guidance suites that rival global peers. Tehran is signaling that it has moved beyond reactive ideology-driven strikes into deploying a strategic deterrent with immediate operational effect.